hi there and welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining us on this video um, this video we thought we'd come out and do this one and say a massive thank you to a guy that follows us on our channel always leaves us positive feedback doesn't he yeah he does always right. leaves us nice comments and his comments always inspire us to get back out and make more videos um, sometimes we struggle for time and stuff like that for getting out but we do try and get out as often as we can um, but yeah we'd just like to say thank you to Terry a guy called Terry Milburn he lives in Canada and he sent us um, some gifts through the post uh, to help Claire with her journey with bushcraft with her fire lighting skills and things like that uh, and yeah it's a really really generous uh, gesture and we do appreciate it massively don't we yeah definitely um, a lot of stuff isn't there is isn't there yeah um, some brilliant bits of kit yeah. um, and we've got it here we've not used any of it yet um, and like I say it's going to be fantastic for um, helping Claire towards um, achieving what she wants to achieve within the bushcraft with learning new skills in bushcraft isn't it yeah about two years um, what we'll do now we'll uh, we'll take a look at the gear what uh, Terry kindly sent so first of all we'll take a look at this and it's uh, a Mora light my fire knife and it's a beautiful beautiful bit of kit nice bright orange sheath and handle so it isn't it's not going to be easy to misplace you know what I mean it's nice and bright I'll let Claire have a look at this since it's for her <laughs> Missy come on the way go this way Fire steel as well, isn't it? You have to. Yeah, got a fire steel in the handle. Keep twisting. Just watch yourself. <laughs> Do you want me to have a look? You've got it right. Stiff, it's new. new. Just pull now. There oh, you go. Yeah. yeah. So it's got a built-in fire steel that simply goes into the handle, like so, and twists into place. <laughs> Quite simple, really. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think I was trying to twist it off. It's um, nice and sharp. It's got a real good edge. And uh, made by Mora, so we know it's going to be good quality. A, a good quality knife. Nice comfortable grip, try that, see what you reckon. Yeah, nice pull. Keep hands up there, yeah. that's it. That's it. So we'll do videos later, Claire lighting the fire using this. <laughs> Let's have a look at the sheath. We've got a bit of uh, inner tube on there, which is brilliant for fire lighting within damp conditions. And underneath there, we've got a um, compass. So I'll bring the knife closer to the camera and we'll take a look at that. There we go, we can see the sheath. We can see the knife. Beautiful bit of kit. Let's put the sheath down for a moment. Now we've got the fire steel there. I won't have a go at using this. I'll leave it to Claire, seems it's, seems it's her knife. <laughs> Right, we'll have a look at what else Terry kindly sent us. He's also sent us sent this carabiner, which is a uh, will come in useful, um, and it's also got a a little flashlight, a little torch on there. Which will be awesome. that'd be pretty good for yeah, keeping with good. your bag and whatnot, won't yeah. it? Oh. Yeah. And a compass. So she can find a way home. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's close, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of, isn't it? Nice. He also kindly sent um, this, which is by I think that must be a company, black and white kindling. It's made in America. Um, and it's fire starter and it looks as though it's something like fatwood which uh again absolutely brilliant 
scrape some shavings off for getting that fire going. Help it along, that'll be good for you. Right. So yeah. we can do a video, you have a little practice with all this, can't we? Yeah, oh. yeah that'd be good. So we'll do a video, Claire practicing, getting some fire lighting skills, doing all this. Oh, that'll be good that won't it? Yeah. Then also we've been sent, um, that's just the wind, these cotton wool balls and they're, they've got the, uh, by the same company and that looks like it's got like some sort of wax, some sort of accelerant on there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, bring them to the camera and have a little look at those. We can see the carabiner with a compass. Be handy for Claire. And we see it's got a little flashlight. Then we've got these. There's a camera picking that up. And cotton wool boards, we can see they've it's cotton wool that side and it's got a wax or something on that side and then we, if we take a look at this you can see some sort of fat wood by the looks of things again, a couple of brilliant bits of kit for anyone's fire lighting kit Right, we've also been, or just been sent a multi-tool which uh, will come in handy for Claire again for keeping in your bag yeah. for doing all those jobs that I can't be bothered to do that, you don't <laughs> that I don't get done I mean not what I can't be bothered to do <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, a little multi-tool I see we've got some pliers on there nice. um, and so a file We've got a little screwdriver in there and there's a posi screwdriver in there we've got a posi screwdriver in there also and then the other side we have a knife a couple of knives some more screwdrivers and a bottle, and up, bottle opener mm. so that'd be a nice little bit of kit for you to keep in your bag as well won't it? Yeah definitely yeah. He's left sent a little note with that but uh, saying that it'll be handy to use in a pinch and whatnot so that's be brilliant for Claire to keep in her bag The dog seems to be watching something over over there. <sighs> right, we'll have a look at them. Terry's also sent some iron on iron on patches. So Claire could put those on a rucksack or, or what have you. That'll be nice yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, they're iron on, so quite simple to put on. Yeah. So we'll have a look at that. And it's a Canadian flag. <laughs> And the maple leaf. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Embroidered. And we've also been sent this little tin, and it's a uh, belt and pop pistol manufactured in London, LA. Bro, looks like it's been um, like a pellet tin from a from an air gun or something. But inside we've got some bits, we've got some bits of shavings which obviously will catch a spark and uh, help start off, start our fire, so that's a bit of handy stuff. Then we've also got this little bit of fat wood which that looks absolutely really impregnated with uh, with uh, sap. That's really nice strong. <laughs> and then inside, also, we've got some waxed cotton wool discs. Again, they are absolutely brilliant for fire lighting. Something that we uh, really 
recommend, especially when the weather is damp and the conditions and the wood and everything's damp. It just gives you that little bit more burn time. And it's an absolute magnificent little tin. Perfect size for them, like. Mm -hmm. Put that fat wood back in there. And then we've got these little capsules and it's got some sort of granule, granules inside. Um, what they are, I'm not sure. Put that one down and I'll see if I can get into this without spilling it. I presume it's something that uh, may catch a spark or something also. I'm not going to smell it because uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see how it's little granules. Oh, yeah. I'll bring, the, bring this over and show you guys. See, we've got a little container and it's got these little capsules in. I don't know if that's going to pick up. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. We'll just have a little look. I'll sprinkle a few in my hand and we'll see. There we go. Is that getting that? There's some sort of little granules. I presume they're for using for fire lighting also. So we've got two little containers of those and then we've uh, we've got a note off Terry when oxygen absorbs in case. Ah, that'll be the that'll be those and then we've got a little note from Terry saying uh, hello Gary Claire and Macy um, and he's saying he hopes Claire can get some use of all these things um, and he's saying that he found this little tin a while back and uh, pretty much saying that he sent it back to the UK where this tin started its journey as it says on here manufactured in London um, so he sent that back to the UK um, and he's just uh, saying there that he's, he wishes as well and um, uh, finite items for uh, fire lighting skills so that'll be perfect for Claire absolutely brilliant and he's also kindly sent something for Macy he always mentions Macy in his comments and everything as well um, so Macy's just wandering around but when I shout her and shake this she'll probably come <laughs> belting over or running over hi girl what's this huh oh, oh. what are these eh what's this? see she's a uh, Sit down then, I mean, give me a paw, high five, and the other one, good girl, there we go, <laughs> how's that, is that nice, yeah, oh. one more, there we go, Macy approves of them Terry, thank you very much, <laughs> what we'll do now, we'll lay all these items out, we'll uh, we'll show you, this, show you them all together, um, and then we'll say our goodbyes, there we go, there's all the things that uh, Terry sent through to us from Canada. Uh, it's something that we really do appreciate Terry and Claire is over the moon with these. It will help her out massively won't it Claire? Yeah. Claire's just over there feeling <laughs> the cold. Thank you Terry. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely brilliant. We've got the knife, we've got the fat wood, we've got the cotton balls. We've got the tin with uh, the shavings, the fat wood and the wax discs in. We've got the embroidered patches. We've got the multi-tool, the um, carabiner. The containers with some granules in, but I'm not too sure what they are. And we've got the treats for Macy, which she's uh, really approves of those, don't you Macy? I go. She's just running around. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much once again. As we can see, Macy really appreciates these um, treats. She's uh, liking them quite a lot. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, and we'd just like to say again, thank you, Terry. This is something that we really do appreciate, don't we? Yeah. And I'll let you say a few words now. <laughs> <laughs> thank <laughs> you, Terry. I'm looking forward to you seeing these. Really helped me. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be good for you, won't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, and in future videos, we'll uh, be showing Claire using these. Obviously, the knife, 
will be absolutely brilliant for Claire, not just for the fire lighting skills, also for um, using an edge tool, uh, for making um, pegs and stuff like that. As we've seen, as further down in the list of our videos, we made a pot hanger and Claire was starting out using um, some knife skills in that. Um, but this knife will make things like that a lot easier for your opponent. Yeah. With Jupiter being nice and robust, it's got a nice handle, a nice slip guard there, so your fingers can't slip over, so it's one less thing to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so future videos will be, Claire will be using these and I'll uh, be chilling. <laughs> But yeah, I would just like to say thank you for joining us on this video and thank you once again, Terry. It's something that we appreciate massively. And um, we'll see you all on the next video. And as always, stay safe. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now.